Okay, so the braids are gone. That was a quick process. I don't even know what time. Let me see. Because she she got here like around 10:30. And what time is it now? It's 2:07. Okay. That did take a that did take a little bit of time. But she also braided down my hair. I didn't wash my hair because I'm waiting to get a package, which I will show you all next week, of some new hair products. So I'm gonna do like a whole shebang, like using those products and washing my hair and you know, get my ends trims. I might do a haircut, but I'm about to oil my scalp. Um my hair actually wasn't that dirty from the braids. It's just kind of flaky from the products and all of that. But I'm just happy to have them, them braids out. And yeah, let's talk about the wig situation. So I dropped my hair off on Tuesday to get a wig made. And the hairstylist advertised three business days. And then they decided... Um, excuse me, they told me that they prefer to communicate through Instagram DMs versus texting, which I thought was very weird. Um, so the, the message said that the wig could be picked up Saturday after 1 p.m., right? After 1. So I, t I write them back on Instagram and say, hey, um, will the wig be ready? I wanted to get there between 1.30 and 2.00. Y'all don't have a car, so my homegirl was going to take me. Because, you know, it is like a, a good minute away or whatever. And then he was like, I'll let you know when it's ready. So if I drop the hair off on Tuesday afternoon, the hair, my wig should have been done on Friday. And then, if, and then also too, and just please let me know in the comments if I'm wrong or you all's thoughts about this. But if you're telling me it can be picked up after 1 p.m., I am assuming that the wig is ready not i have to wait for a text message after one so it's just very unfortunate because i found this guy on instagram and I actually had a friend who got several wigs made from them he does a great job from his pictures i hope my wig comes out great but the communication um and the expectations are just down the fucking toilet and i will not be going to them again like i'm not playing around with you fucking beauty professionals if i as soon as you exemplify bad communication I'm not fucking with you because you're not going to get my hard earned money. And this wig was 250 fucking dollars. Um, I'm just, I'm not doing that because I feel like if the wig wasn't going to be ready for a pickup close to one o'clock, you should have communicated that this morning. Like it should have been messages that went out to your clients saying, Hey, your wig will be done at this time. And then the other part is that I saw him working on my wig on his Instagram stories last night, Friday night, cause he was showing my closure, like he dyed it. So that's neither here or there. I just, I'm not gonna allow people to play with me and play with my money and you call yourself a professional and you do this, you claim you got all these receipts, you, you have all the messages, this, that, and the third, that's fine. But on the day of, there should be some type of confirmation message or the day before to your clients. Like, I don't run my business like that and I just don't expect for people to treat me like that. So I'm heated because my whole plan was to wake up this morning, get the braids taken out, go pick up the wig between 1.30 and 2, come home, take a shower, and get the rest of this Fashion Nova content done that I needed to do. And then also, it's my homegirl's birthday and I'm going out for her birthday later. So, you know, so now I just feel like, okay, it's already like like almost 2 30 no fucking wig and then i was telling him that i didn't want to uber the wig he just kept saying oh all of my clients do that on a daily basis and i said well i had a bad experience where um an uber driver was trying to act like they like they delivered my you know they delivered something to me before and they did it and he said well i've been in business for seven years i've never had this problem i don't give a fuck with your experience i'm the fucking client you already got my coins i had to pay you up front and then I had got some type of like promotion. He didn't even honor the promotion. Act like, but that's. Anyways, all I know is that I better have this wig at a decent time because I have fucking shit to do today. Like, it's a beautiful Saturday. I could have been out and about doing stuff with my hair. Then my homegirl was going to the Houston rodeo cook off thing around four to five and I can't go to that because I don't know when I'm gonna have the wig. So, and then I have to do stuff later. So I just, anybody who knows me and I say this all the time on social media, punctuality and communication are the two big qualities for me. I don't like when people just act like they don't know how to communicate. Like that's whack. Like grow the fuck up. 
yeah so that's that but i'm about to make some chicken wings and some sweet potato fries in the air fryer i'm gonna oil my scalp up and um my last vlog is already locked and loaded i can have that vlog up tomorrow which i'm probably gonna do versus having it up on monday i'm gonna get it uploaded on sunday i might switch my upload days to sundays um yeah so but thank you all for just listening to me rant because rant and vent I know I always have problems with hairstylists and I feel like a lot of people have problems with hairstylists, but it's just, I feel like the more popular you are on social media or it's just, again, customer service just be trash and I'm going to just continue to hold people accountable. I said how I said, I said, you know, what I felt and that's on that. So after waiting all day for my wig, he said the wig will be ready for pickup at 5.15. And that was also a lie. I asked the wig maker, hairstylist, whatever you want to call him. Um, I said, hey, can you send me a picture for confirmation? Like, I wanted him to send me a picture of what the wig which pa was, was packaged in. He put my wig right back in the bag that I gave it to him in. So that's not really concealing the item, right? Um, let's take a look. This is what it looks like. I'm about to try it on and see. I'm so sad because my hair, like this hair is short, but um, wow, he didn't even put the band in it. He charged me $5 for a band and there's no band on the wig. That's crazy. upset because the wig honestly it feels a little tight I'm not really happy so I'll be back honestly the wig is just it's okay like I feel like the wig is a little is a little snug I just messaged him on Instagram and I was like hey the wig doesn't have um the wig doesn't have the band he was like okay I'll refund you the bands weren't in stock and then I was like, so when were you going to, like, communicate that? So I'm just kind of combing it because I don't like perfect curls or whatever. But for $250, this isn't really what I was expecting. Like, at all. So, yeah. That's that. But I got played. I needed my fucking hair done. There was like no. This is crazy. No plucking. Oh, I am not happy. The wig may look good, but this is not how I want my wigs to look. I want my wigs to have a scalp like you know, finish in the front. Number one, there was no band and I paid $5 extra for a band. So upon inspecting the wig and I say that, hey, there's no band, he's saying um, the bands were out of stock. So first of all, run me back my $5. Let's start there. And he's saying you're not about to be um, problematic with me. Wow. I'm not a problematic girl at all. It's just scary when you go to somebody for the first time and you admire their work and when you get your work back, it looks nothing like their work. Anyways, y'all, he thinks I'm being problematic with him. All this stuff, whatever. I'm going to have to wear it, but I'm going to have another hairstylist fix the, um, fix the, just pluck the hairline more so it can look a little more, you know, because this, 
He was like, not one compliment. Maybe we're not compatible. I said, I will never pay you to do anything with my hair again, okay? Chow, please. Like, yes, and then I know he cut a lot off, but it's like, baby, this is, this is, it's whatever. Maybe when my makeup's done and all that, I'll be feeling the vibes, but this is just not what I wanted at all. It's not what I wanted. But it will do for the time being. Look how short it is in the back. Ah, I'm so angry. <laughs> Hey boss babes, it is much later. I was on my rooftop filming content that I had one of my um, previous customers from Shop Mia's Closet, she hit me up on Instagram and she was like, girl, I'm going to brunch tomorrow. Can I come by and buy some outfits? And I was like, yes. But I'm so proud of myself for... <coughs> now what the fuck? I'm so proud of myself for getting my content finished even though I had to go to my rooftop to do it. But I'm about to go out. It's my homegirl's like birthday celebration. Um, I didn't know what to wear and I didn't feel like wasting a brand new outfit that I need to, I didn't wanna waste a brand new outfit that I need to take content in. So I wore the outfit that I took pictures in who I did my reel in last week because this dress is too fucking fine. Then I brought out I brought out my bag. What is that on the handle? It's like a piece of hair that got stuck. My jock moose bag. And I want y'all to say it right, okay? Listen to me. Come closer. It's pronounced jock moose. Not jacumez, jacky moose, jock moose. It's a French brand. Put some respect on it. That's why I studied French in school because I knew I was going to be in the fashion world and I wanted to sound intelligent. And like I was that girl pronouncing the brands right. Jock Moose. Jock Moose. Say it right. So, yep. This is the Grand Chiquito. And yeah, I'm about to get some heels on. Bitch, I'm snatched. Even though I said I didn't like my hair because I felt like my hair wasn't right. One thing about me, baby, I'm always going to get it together. Okay? But this is such a cute little girly outfit. I just gotta make sure my Spanx ain't showing at the back. But, um, just wanted to check back in with you all. <sighs> I was just so pissed about my hair earlier and the fact that the dumbass. Anyways, we're not gonna worry about that. I look good, my hair is fine. I'll get another wig made another time, but I had to flatten it some. But we're jet black, middle part, bust down. And that's all that matters. What's up, boss babes? I have not picked my camera up all weekend, okay? Um, today has been a very chill day for me. Um, I just relaxed and I just came back from the grocery store and I have a special unboxing. I know y'all keep saying, what's the, what's the special unboxing? I'm gonna shower and um film it tonight or i might film it tomorrow but y'all my refrigerator is like so bare i'm about to clean out my fridge and then restock everything i'm so tired so just please forgive me y'all for kind of being absent during this vlog i promise i'm gonna be more active i just need my rest and i'm hungry a little bit but it's crazy because the semaglutide has actually made me not really eat anything today i ate like three chicken wings and a small amount of sweet potato fries that i made in the air fryer but let me get my house together i know it's late as hell at night but i'm about to clean stuff up and i'll hop back on camera because yeah good morning boss babes i first of all it's afternoon i just woke up maybe like 30 minutes ago Mm. starting off my day with just a little shake it's no protein in here i need to go buy some more um vegan protein or whatever but this is just oat milk strawberries blueberries peanut butter some oatmeal ice and chia seeds and peanut butter i think i said that 
Mm. Today, I was so tired last night, y'all. Like, the weekend, like Sunday morning, really just kind of took me out on Monday. So, oh yeah, and another thing, the screw in the back of my G7X unscrewed again. And I know the little old man at the camera shop is like so tired of me, but baby, I need my shit fixed. Period. So, mm, I wanna handle that. I have a few little things I need to do today. I, I need to go to the post office. I wanna go to Trader Joe's and I wanna drop off my Givenchy boots to get fixed so I can have them for my upcoming trip to Atlanta next week. But yes, y'all, I am going to Atlanta next week for four days <clears throat> to see friends. Um, Bird Boy concert. I may or may not go to the concert, but you know, it's gonna be a fun weekend and um, to get content done. So, yeah, I miss my Atlanta spots of taking content and all of that good stuff. So, yeah, mm hmm. So, that's what we're gonna be doing. It's Tuesday and Whew, let me see what the weather's like. I woke up, I had so many emails. Oh, it's 80 degrees today. 83. So, yeah, I'll hit you guys up when I get started with the day, but I just wanna drink this smoothie. I don't really have much of an appetite from the semaglutide that I was taking and yeah. Yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, y'all, so I'm dressed for the day. I have on this wretched wig. The wig is just isn't for me. It's not long enough, or maybe the wig is fine and I'm just tripping. Um, I think I'm gonna add curtain bangs just so it can have like a different look to it. Perhaps it needs to be flattened, but this hair has a lot of bundles. It's five. I shouldn't even got all this hair in here because now it's like super thick, but it's actually okay. Anywho, about to call Uber. I need to go to the post office, to Trader Joe's, and this shoe repair place to drop off my shark boots. And um, what else? Oh yeah, the camera repair place. So let's go. About to go get my freaking Givenchy sheet boots fixed. What's your last name? Taylor. Oh my god, I should. Have. That is my boy. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. Happy freaking. Y'all just dropped off my shoes to get them fixed. I need them back before I go to Atlanta next week. So it's only twenty nine dollars, and they're gonna fix the heel on the boots. So I'm very, very happy with that. Um. Yeah, he was like to polish them and stuff. It would be like 30 something. I was like, I don't care about that. But I just need that heel to be fixed because those shoes are comfortable. And then I had this cheap ass um, purse. I was gonna get the zipper replaced, but he was like, he would have to put a new zipper and that would cost more than what the purse is even worth. So we're not even gonna worry about that. So now I'm about to go to Trader Joe's and then I'm going to go to um, the camera care center, or whatever it's called, so he can put the screw back in my camera. I love this G7X, and I don't know if you all have this camera or have like those problems, like does y'all's flip screen come loose? Like do the, the screws come out? I just need to know. But, all right y'all, I'll see you all in a second.
items in a minute and it's a certain things that I purchased from Trader Joe's because it's a greater value such as like the spray oils um, the big jars of the extra virgin olive oils um, yeah so I only got one bag of stuff today I spent less than $30 so I want to make the basil fried rice again <laughs> and I'm so addicted to it and they have the huge pack of basil and this basil just looks so good I love this pesto I don't like the jar pesto, I like the refrigerated pesto, so I like to put this on sandwiches, on my eggs, on toast. Um, I already started eating these, but these are the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. I eat two of those. I spent $27.80 on eight items, period. Um, Trader Joe's has the best turkey bacon for a good value. Some ground turkey. I use ground turkey when I make spaghetti. This is why I went to Trader Joe's, the Chili Crunch oil. Nobody else has the has a good pricing for this Chili Crunch oil, and this is the key ingredient for my basil fried rice. Um, I got this, this is the Gnocchi Sarantino. This is just like a really quick, easy skillet meal. I love this, super yummy. And then y'all already know I had to re-up on my crispy rice cakes, okay? So, yeah. I need to get everything together. I don't need this turkey right now. I'm gonna put it, oh God. I'm actually gonna just freeze this. I'm gonna freeze this. Twin, where have you been? Okay, so I need to get a few other things to make this basil fried rice today. Um, I need peppers, green onions. Yeah, so I'm gonna run back down to H-E-B in a few, but first, but first, but first, I want to unbox my package from Beyonce. Yes, Beyonce thought of your girl and she sent me a package from Sacred, period. Okay. So this is the box that came in. Like y'all, this is like the PR of all PR, okay? Like, what? What? different angle yeah, looks like huge box says sacred like are you freaking serious let me move this down like what like what are you serious are you serious like are you for real me me Beyonce Beyonce's team thought of me, Mia the boss, like, seriously? Seriously. I'm tripping out bad. And also too, because my camera's all messed up. Okay, let's open this and see what is in here. Wow, just wow. So we got this book that talks about the brand. Oh wow, these are beautiful. 
just look at Beyonce. Be for real, like, oh. it has like all the information about like the brand. This is just so pretty. It's like artwork. Meet the foundation collection. Oh my God, that's Beyonce. Okay, let's get into what I got. I am just, I'm mesmerized. Like, hello. So let me just read what this says. It says, it has always been a dream of mine to create a hair care line. That's why I'm so proud to share Sacred, which celebrates and honors the wisdom in our hair. I'm excited that you are now a part of this community and can help to build an intimate and powerful space where we can share our journeys, our hair secrets, and protect all things sacred. Love, B. Oh my God, like this can go in a frame. The quality, Okay, so let's go into what we got because it's a lot. The first thing is the, this is like the hair vessel. So you're supposed to fill it up with water and you use this with the, um, the fermented rice and the rose protein ritual. So let me bring this down. So this is like the little nozzle. I know a lot of people were saying they were gonna be using this as a water bottle, which you probably could because this is amazing quality. And then you just put it, and look at this. Puriana, I'm loving this already. So exciting. Like, I'm not getting rid of this box. I'm keeping this forever. Forever because it's from Beyonce. Hello. I don't even remember how this came back in the box, but baby. 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 I don't want to mess up the box. Okay. Let's move y'all closer so we can really see what's going on. Okay. Then we have the moisturizing deep conditioner. This is what I'm excited about. That's that thick. Oh, it smells so good. It just smells like clean, like a hair product, you know? Like not overly fragrant or floral, just like a clean smell. Cause I need to wash my hair and I wanna use these products. So that's the deep conditioner. Then we have the reconstructing treatment mask. Cause baby, I'm using all of this stuff. And I just love the neutral colors and the packaging, how this feels like, you know, like, concrete or it looks like concrete I never open these right oh look at that color mm. yeah this smells like just really expensive expensiveness I will be using this period Okay, then we got the clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub shampoo. Ooh, this is great for when you're taking out your protective styles. So, did I do this right? Oh, no, 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 yeah, I did not do this right. Let me not start breaking stuff. Oh, wait. Hold up now. I want to make sure I didn't break something. 
Because knowing me, knowing me, me a T, I probably did something wrong. Okay. Oh no. Okay, so I was right. Put that back on there. Y'all, I be messing up stuff. Okay, you not mess up Beyonce's packaging. There we go. So it looks like this with like the little the little dial. So it says removes buildup and product residue for a deep clean. Yes, we are going to be using this when we wash our hair. I don't want to take this off, but we are because I want to smell everything. Ooh, y'all, it has like a minty, a, a minty kind of, you know, vibe to it. Mm-hmm. Like tea tree oil. So I want to read up on everything that comes because like that comes in the packaging because all these little cards they gave us have information on all of the products so the hydrating shampoo let me go to the other one i just had the clarifying shampoo so this has um invigorating tea tree lemon and peppermint notes grounded in herbaceous rosemary tones so yeah wet the hair and scalp but first applying your hand to activate the lather or directly to your scalp only and scrub for two minutes Y'all, I'm about to wash my hair and this is about to be great. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm gonna wash it today, but I have to wash my hair before um, I go to Atlanta. So let's next. Next, we got the hydrating shampoo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm opening everything, so. I don't wanna. Everything smells good. Like, oh. Then we got the moisture sealing lotion. So this is to seals and moisture leaving hair smooth and shiny. Apply sparingly on date, damp or dry hair for best results. Use before applying heat. Okay, B, let's see what this is hitting on. Mm, and it has like this type of like little nozzle. A lot of thought went into all of these products. Like, hmm. this is what I'm excited about, y'all. This is the sacred um, hair oil. You can add it to damp or dry hair. Before, remove the small, blah, blah, blah. Yes. There's 13 oils in here. Look how pretty this is. And this is a lot for a hair oil. Mmm, it smells so good. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. And then last but not least, this right here is the fermented rice and the rose protein ritual. It's a two-step hair treatment formulated with ingredients that promote hair and scalp health. So you're gonna use this ritual after shampooing and before conditioning, and you use it with the little vessel I had showed you. So, let's see. Oh, I love this. It comes with a bunch, like a, so that's good. So see step one and then step two. Love this. Love this. Y'all, I am just I'm blown away right now. And um they reached out to me on Instagram a few weeks ago and I could not freaking believe it. I was like, me, me, Mia, you all want to send me products from Beyonce's new hair care line? And stuff like this is just really, 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 it's very, it makes my heart so happy because I, I've said this before, one of my goals 
returning back to YouTube and you know um, and just being like a social media influencer content creator is to get a more PR list because it's just really great for brands to recognize you and at one point I was pitching myself to brands and they weren't really like responding some were responding um, but for a brand like this to recognize me and want to work with me I'm just really, really happy. Um, I've been getting so many emails and contacts about being on different PR lists, but this one is probably one of my favorites so far. Like, it's freaking Mava. It's Bay Anse Giselle Knows Carter. Are you serious? But thank you so much, Sacred, for sending me this amazing package. Like, look at this. I'm not getting rid of this box. Um, yeah, your girl's happy. And of course, I'm gonna do, you know, a little review when I wash my hair with these products. Um, cause I took out my braids, but my real hair needs to be washed and blown, you know, all that good stuff. So, yeah guys, I'm super excited. <gasps> Um, thank you, Sacred. Thank you, Beyonce. Hey, babes, it's a little bit later. I have just been sitting here on the couch folding laundry. And uh, it's been, excuse me, a slow day for me. I made some basil fried rice, enjoyed that, cleaned up, emptied the dishwasher. Just chilling, really. I'm not really doing much today. Um... I didn't work out today, which is fine, but I have to 100% go tomorrow. Um, I was going to go like on a little date today, but I just wasn't feeling the vibes he was giving through text. And I just said, bye. Because he planned a date to go to Steak 48 tomorrow, but he was like, oh, let's go on an ice cream date or we can go have like a drink in River Oaks shopping district. And I was like, I'm lactose intolerant. I don't want to go on a date to get ice cream like that's not my thing and I was just I don't know I was confused like he wanted to have a date before a date but anywho I'm just not really interested in dating right now or just that whole getting to know you like that getting to know you stage I just don't have it in me where are you from what do you do for work I don't feel like answering those questions and I just know I get really 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 irritated so that's how I know baby we ain't about to date but I'm not gonna be doing anything for the ooh, excuse me the rest of the day it's 709 here I have a call tomorrow at 11 30 to 12 then I'm actually going to brunch with somebody look at me over here talking about oh, I don't want to go on a date it's just that person that's what it is when somebody irritates me or if I know I just don't have the potential to like them or I just don't like them, they're going to aggravate me. But I am going to brunch with this dude tomorrow. So let me over here. Let me stop acting like I ain't about to do nothing. But I um, hope you all enjoyed the sacred unboxing. I'm excited to wash my hair. Um, just trying to figure out like a few particular things that I need to do because I'm not really feeling my wig. I told you all that I want to do the curtain bangs in the wig and I think that the curtain bangs will actually give it like you know some umph just like a different style for me and then I'm gonna see if somebody can kind of go in and thin the wig out so it's just not so damn bulky but a part of me wants to just wait till I go to Atlanta next week and do all of that so yeah but when I go to Atlanta next week I already made an appointment to get my nails done with my nail tech back in Atlanta. I'm gonna go to my old eyebrow girls, get my eyebrows done, and I'm gonna make an appointment to get a wax, y'all. I have been growing <laughs> these weeds. Baby, I've been growing these weeds like I'm about to get a fine or something. Like, I'm gonna keep growing it out until the city finds me. That's basically how it's about to be because, yeah. But, um,. You know, we keeping it real over here. I have been getting Brazilian waxes like routinely, like every six to eight weeks. Probably six to eight, that's the stretch in it. Like, yeah, like six to eight weeks um, routinely. And since the last wax I got, which I believe might've even been in, 
it might have been in November or December. I don't remember. Because I went to this girl out here called Sammy Skin Freak. And she did a, such a good, good job. But the one thing that I don't understand or like about Houston is that stuff is more expensive out here. And the quality is not as good. Like, I told myself I'm not going back to gloss to get my nails done. It's too overpriced. I shouldn't be shelling out $200, $160 every time I get my fucking nails and pedicure done. Um... So we're not going to gloss anymore. Um, I had a bad experience with, with the eyebrow people. So, and then I've been having the worst luck with Houston hairstylists. Like honestly, besides Angie, there's no one out here who does hair that makes me happy. So I feel like I need to figure out what do I want to do with my hair. I really love the braids. I thought that going back to wigs would make me happy, but baby, it doesn't. Because the one thing that I miss as well is when I'm not wearing a wig, like right now it's got my braid down, I don't really feel my best. Like if I was to step out of the house, it's like, okay, I just got my, I got my, my braids. Like I have to throw on a hat. So I do miss that about, um, I do miss that about having like knotless braids and also like having a quick weave or having a sew in. So I'm either going to try to get like a ponytail, like something cute and quick when I go to Atlanta next week, or I'm just going to have to get that wig customized, you know, to my liking. I think the thing is I just want stuff just to look good when I am not, um, when I'm just like in chill mode, you know, if you have a sew on a quick weave, it's just real easy to do that. So I just, I guess it's like, I just want to look cute effortlessly without having to do too much. And the fact that I have to put a wig on my head just drives me in shine. So that's that with my hair, but I'm just so excited to go back to Atlanta. I want to go see the Burna Boy concert. I'm, I've seen Burna Boy before, so if I don't go to the concert, it's okay. But just want to relax and have fun. I mean, I told y'all the reasons why I was going before. Um, but yeah, that's it. My goal is to be in the bed by midnight tonight. I want to wake up, get my ass to the gym by 9, do my call at 11.30. So really when I leave the gym, I need to be like getting ready to go to my brunch date. So we picked a cute little spot. And yeah, the guy's cool. He's from Ghana. So we're going to see how this goes or whatever. He's like a year younger than me too. So yeah, <laughs> but I'm about to put my laundry up. And my new thing is I love making tea and I want to start editing this vlog because I started this vlog over the weekend. I don't even know like what footage and stuff like that that I have, but yeah, so that's that. So I'll holler at you babes later. boss babes I am about to get unready for bed so I'm gonna show you how I get all of my makeup off and get my skin nice and fresh the first thing that I use to take off my makeup is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm oh as you can see baby I'll be using this okay I don't like it to get underneath my nails so I just kind of get it all over like a knuckle wipe it off and then we're just going to start to rub this in the skin oh yeah and as you see it literally starts to melt the makeup off mm -hmm. I'm just looking in the mirror as I do this because I'm not using the little flip up thing on my camera. I look crazy. It comes with like this little microfiber cloth 
but I'm just gonna use some of these little pads to start to get this crap off. Oof, this makeup has been on my face since 12.30. And it's time to come off. And I think I just knocked one of my contacts out of place. And that's okay, because the contacts are also about to come off. My mascara, which is the toughest, you know, oh, one of my contacts just fell out. I also use a little micellar water just to get the the mascara off because mascara y'all is tricky and I've been wearing mascara for like days I really don't want to put on lashes so yeah and I get in the shower and I actually I like to wash my face in the shower because you know yeah Okay, that one came out too. <laughs> and I normally don't use these cotton pads, but I am today just because the little cloth that I use to take the, mic the makeup off with is dirty. We're gonna do one more round on the eyes because I still, I always put mascara on my bottoms, see, and all right, so for the, I got all that makeup off, double cleansing is super important to me. So these two. Perfect combination, okay? So I'm about to shower and call it a night, and we'll be back tomorrow. Good night. Good afternoon, it's Thursday, the last day of February. So if y'all have like a birthday in there, it's leap year, so you get to celebrate your birthday on February 29th. That's crazy. Mm. Anywho, I've been in the house. I don't know why I've been so fatigued but then it dawned on me, my cycle is coming, so. Mm. But I just made like a quick little Trader Joe's, the gnocchi stuff, and I put some Parmesan cheese on it. And yeah. I have just been having a very slow week relaxing week so mm -hmm. today is thursday which means i have to do my semaglutide injection before i go to bed tonight so that's good and that's about it so I don't know what my plans are for today but i'll pick the camera back up if anything gets exciting but i'll pick it back up just to speak to you all because i just don't want to pop up on the camera and not come back on so what's up it's a little bit later i am about to make some dinner y'all i have been feeling so lazy this week and i just don't i don't know everyone's just like just take it easy on yourself and then like all my friends like their periods are about to come I'm like damn why is all of our periods starting around the same time but I'm just cleaning off these chicken thighs because I just got the urge to have some I want to make some barbecue barbecue chicken thighs with um some broccoli and maybe like rice or something. I don't know yet. Chicken thighs are literally like 
super inexpensive, super yummy. So yeah. I'm about to package some of these up and then um, I think I'm gonna cook two and then like package the rest up. And they're like, I just need to season these babies. Real good, real well. Yum, yum, yum. So this was like a steamable pack of green beans with the potatoes. I just added my seasonings and some vegan butter. I did jasmine rice and then my chicken thighs. I don't So I'm about to do my injection of semaglutide. This is week two. So week one, I feel like my appetite was like slightly suppressed. Um, the dosage that I'm taking now, it is smaller than the one that I was taking in the beginning. Just like that. Oh, it's painless. I don't I don't feel anything when I do this, so yep week two is done next week i'm traveling so i'm not taking this with me when i travel so i'm gonna do it um wait i leave thursday morning so probably what i'll do i will just take it before i go to the airport so i have to call it a night you girl is tired tomorrow i just hope that i get the energy that i need to just get stuff accomplished um so yeah good night y'all Good afternoon, boss babes. It is Friday, March 1st, the first of the freaking month. Like, what's up, March? Why do I always do that when it's dark? But, um, yeah, I've been up since like nine, just being lazy, laying in the bed. I actually put on my clothes to go to the gym. I need to feel motivated. My body is stiff. I need to stretch. So, yeah, your girl's just trying to get right. My skin's breaking out. I'm not really feeling like myself but um first thing i can do is go get a workout one of my instagram followers hit me up and asked me could she buy my wig and she lives in houston she wants to come pick it up and i was like sure come get it um i know i'm just completely over the wigs y'all me and wig life we just we are not gonna be able to go together like i just don't think me and the wigs like we're just it's just that's just not what it is so i'm waiting for her to hit me back to let me know when she's going to be here but i want to go get this workout in and yeah catch y'all a little bit all right so i'm back from the gym made breakfast set the smoke detector off because i burnt some toast but y'all i'm about to take these braids out because remember i never washed my hair from when i had the knotless braids so I made a hair appointment tomorrow with a girl that my friend found for me on Instagram. She offers like a $65 silk press special and she'll trim your ends. So I want to use my new sacred products just to kind of prep my hair. I'm not doing anything tonight. So I'm going to do all of that. Um, so yeah, just have my hair looking nice and right for tomorrow. But yeah, 
my hair is so oily because I oil my scalp. So. <sighs> I go tell mama oh, I go tell papa oh, I go tell brother oh, I go tell sister oh. This old mama oh, I go give you belly oh. Oh, you're near me now oh. You go fear me now oh. She will force me now oh. She want be my she want oh. That's a boy, Roma, that's a boy. That's a boy, Roma, that's a boy. Try so hard to be my wife, Roma, oh. but I just decided that I'm not gonna wash my hair right now because I don't want to go to sleep with my hair damp so I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and do the exfoliating stuff and then um, have the hairstylist probably use the sacred products I have so much hair on my face so I was like I need to dermaplane so we're about to just quickly do that you all have seen me dermaplane so many times before but I just hate that Ugh. I'm not gonna I feel like I need to go to another dermatologist because I just don't understand the breakouts that I've been getting it's like I just can't really attribute them to being hormonal anymore because it's just like like look at that one <sighs> but you all can watch me dermaplane my face even though I've done this cellar water and clean all this up oh. a few little cuts Mia but now my skin oh it's soft. Get ready. Yeah, this feels so much better. All right, that's done. Hey y'all, it's a little bit later. I walked to the hookah store and got some more flavors and I just picked up my Amazon package. I got a digital scale. I will definitely link this scale because this scale was $19.99. And then I got my favorite feminine wash. If y'all don't know about this, this is the truth. So I'll link both of these, but yeah, I'm about to set up this scale and weigh myself, so stay tuned. Good morning, boss babes. It is Saturday. I said I was going to end this vlog yesterday, but I decided just to throw in today because probably after today, I'm not gonna vlog much until I go out of town. But um, I'm about to prep my hair. I'm about to prep my hair for my hair appointment but the first thing I did I got my new digital scale and I paired it with the app and this is my weight I am three 
1.06. Can y'all see that? Whoops, hold on. That is my weight. So, by the end of the semaglutide journey, your girl needs to be 270. For real. So, yeah. Right now, I'm having some premenstrual cramps. It was so bad last night. Um, I was like... I look like Don King, but anywho, I'm about to get prepped for my hair appointment. I'm going to come back on camera in just a second. I'm going to grab um, the Sacred Clarifying Shampoo and the Exfoliant because I just want to clean my scalp and then I'll let her do the rest. So, BRB. Alright, so I got the product. So this is the Sacred Clarifying Shampoo and Scalp Scrub. We about to get it on like Donkey Kong. I always, I don't know why I be popping this thing off the wrong way. Yeah, so this is it. And because I had those braids, I just feel like I have a lot of buildup and etc. So I just want to go in. Wait, is it open? Child look, I didn't even open the thing all the way. So as I do this, I'm going to be, yeah, because my hair had a lot of buildup on it, so I just want to scrub my hair first before I shower. So I'm just going to be parting it with my hands and then just going in. Getting it all over the scalp. You can actually part it with the bottle. I wish I had one of those little scrubby things like I did before, but it's all good. This smells so freaking good. I know I need some water to activate this, but um, all right, let's get in the shower. <laughs> After using the clarifying shampoo and the exfoliant so my natural hair texture is super curly I don't know what my 
numeric texture the, the numeric and alphabetic texture code like the 4c 4b i don't know what any of that is when it comes to my hair so <sighs> yeah my hair it coils up pretty pretty easily <laughs> So funny seeing me like with my natural hair or whatever but um i didn't want her to do too much but y'all my hair had definitely as you see it broke off in the front um and it's crazy because i was going to cut my hair but i got a pimple patch i stopped at heb and bought some of these pimple patches because i had a big nest is it but yeah I look kind of grandma-ish, but wait till I go home and do my edges. But since I'm on this side of town, I am going to go to a beauty supply store because I need to get like all new brushes and combs and just other things I freaking need. So we're about to do that. And all right. My hair looks like a fucking grandma. Okay, I'm back from the hair salon. And it's like all my, it's like I don't have any curls. I want my hair to have curls, which it does not have whatsoever. So I'm about to maybe put some curls in it or something. I don't know, it has body, but there's no curls. Like, when I went to the Dominicans. Anyways, it's okay. I don't like my natural hair and I really wanna get to love it, but um, I'll be back y'all okay guys all right so I just got home I stopped at this beauty supply store because they don't have beauty supply stores like on my side of town or whatever so I always have to um get stuff when I at this particular on this side of town so I went to this place called Beauty and the Beast on Hillcroft so I got a bunch of new cones because I don't have any cones whatsoever so Combs, combs, combs. I'm about to throw all of my old combs away. Then I got a pack of these big bobby pins for if I try to wrap my hair. I don't even know why I bought those. Then I got this. This is a weaving cap. And I should have, what I was really looking for is like the, the, the fishnet caps that you put on your head, like, you know, to wrap your hair and all that stuff. Oh yeah, then I got this comb. Yeah, because I needed all new combs. Um, Evan or Eben, they have like this little edge control and I need a small one for travel. And I really like how this smells. This was like $2.99. Then I got some black castor oil and I'm about to order um, a micro needling roller because I have like a bald spot right here. And I'm gonna start rubbing that oil on there and micro needling it to see if it makes a difference and to see if it can stimulate growth and for it to grow back. 
Um, I just got this Heat Protected. I've never used this brand before. Um, and then I just got this nail brush to clean up underneath my nails. I like to get these when I get like brand new nail sets because I'm getting my nails done when I go to Atlanta next week. And then I got this foot file because I'm about to get up in the shower and scrub it up on my toes, on my feet, okay? So I just want to go through, oops, moving. I want to go through my hair drawer down here and throw some stuff away. Like all my old brushes, trash. Trash. Okay, well that was all that I really had. Other combs. Like this. Yeah, I need to throw all these away. I need to order another comb like this brush. This is needs to go in the trash. But we're gonna keep it for right now. Okay, girl. So, what I want to do to my hair. <sighs> oh, this is a good comb. Just, yeah, that was a good comb. I love combs. And I love that I got everything black. And these combs are really good for heat resistance. I love these with the little. Ooh. And I have, I ordered these off the sheen a while ago, some baby hair brushes, because your girl didn't have any, but um, I just want to like do my edges because I feel like that's why my hair ain't really looking like nothing. She trimmed my ends, which was cool. My scalp is clean. That's what matters because I scrub it up dubbed. I just wanted to see what my hair looks like with this break off in the front. This is why I want to cut my hair like even all the way around because I want my hair to have some type of shape and I feel like it doesn't have any shape when it's like this. So, cause y'all know me, I be wearing my hair in a ponytail. But this right here is where my hair broke off. But, It don't look that bad or whatever. I just feel like my hair needs some curls. Like I don't want my hair to start swelling up, you know? And I feel like I should put some rollers in it or something. What y'all think? Should I just put like some flexi rods in it? Cause I have these Velcro rollers. I don't even know what I should do. What should I do, baby? There is some hair in here. What hair is this? And why is there hair in this hair bag? 
And why does it have color on it? Oh, wow. Y'all, I be having hair. Like, this hair is... Like, why do I have this? I hope there's not more of that in there. No. Okay. There should be another one, two, three, five. Baby, we missing a roller. For real. We are missing a roller. Because why would I have five rollers? That don't even make no sense. Like. Okay. Alright. So. I'm going to roll my hair. I'm going to attempt to roll my hair. Y'all, my battery's about to die. I'll be back. Hey y'all, it's much later. I um, I fell asleep on my couch and I need to take this pimple patch off, but we'll do that in a second. Okay, so while I was gone, I had some packages that came. I ordered some new lashes off of Amazon. These are actually lashes that I really, really like and that I've worn before. So let me show y'all these. Yes, these are the ones I like. I will link these, and these are gonna be in my Amazon storefront. I mean, I always have them in my storefront, but these are my favorite lashes from Amazon. These are $10, you only get three, four, five, six, seven pair. But look at the quality. Nice and fluffy. And these are faux mink, but they're so much better than the other ones I had. Then I got an email that I had a huge box from Josie Moran. So I am so curious what this is. Because the box is freaking huge, okay? Things first in the box. It's like a, a cute little newspaper. It says the feel good naked movement starts now. Clean beauty pioneer Josie Moran opens up about re reinvigorating her brand for a new era and why Feel Good Naked is more than a tag tagline. It's a call to action. She made a whole newspaper. Oh my God, what is this? So it's new whipped argon body butter. So they have one called Bohemian Fig, Vanilla Vibes, and Topless Tangerine. I love that. Oh wow, look at this y'all. It's like ice cream or something. Hi Beauty, it gives me chills to finally be writing this. Welcome to a reimagined, reinvigorated, refillable Josie Moran from new 100% plastic, excuse me, 100% plant-based fragrances inspired by my Northern Cali upbringing to chic refillable packaging driven by my commitment to mama nature. Every single element is a heartful reflection of who I am and what I believe we can accomplish together. I hope you're ready to join our feel good naked movement and get a clean California glow. P.S. We left we left these jars empty so you can fill them with our whipped ah oh, our whipped perfection exclusive formulas using our brand new refill pouches. Love this. Let's get into it, baby. Oh 
don't know, mine probably moved while it was being like transported. Oh my God, look how cool this is. So this is like recycled plastic. I love this packaging right here for one. To use misogyny, just, okay, so it came empty. It's an empty jar. I love that, and it's glass. Oh, this is so cute. Like I can reuse this in the future. How cool. And then it has all of these body butters. Wow. I love vanilla, so I think I'm gonna smell this one first. This is such a cool yet different concept. So we got vanilla vibes. Top notes of bergamot, juniper berries. Mmm, I gotta. Okay, heart is violet and the base is cedar wood and vanilla. Oh. Y'all, if I go somewhere tonight, if I go somewhere tonight, I'm putting this on. All right, the topless tangerine. Let's smell this one. Ooh. Mmm, brown sugar as the base. I knew I smelled something sweet in there too. And the last one is bohemian fig, vetiver, and vanilla orchid. Ooh. Oh wow, these smell so good. See, these are my type of smells. Like I'm I'm such a gourmand, rich, spicy, cinnamony, vanilla y. So of course this vanilla one is going to get used first. So we're gonna fill this one up with the vanilla one. Look at that. Ooh. And I still have some left. This is so cool. And look at that. Thank you. I'm so thankful to receive PR. Josie Moran was like the first brand that really reached out to me and asked me to, that reached out to me on Instagram and said that they liked what I was doing and wanted to send me PR. So I will forever be grateful for them. Love this. And the glass is an amber glass jar. Oh, wow. I love this. Love this. Thank you so much, Josie Moran. I love you all so much. And I use you all's products on a daily basis. My body wash that I got from the last PR is almost gone. But baby, this is beautiful. Like, I think I might even sit this out on my countertop because it matches my whole decor. <sighs> I'm about to smell so good tonight. Like, I'm about to do an everything shower before I go out. And yeah, so I'm about to tidy up a little bit. And figure out what I'm doing tonight. I've been having like some, some stomach ache. A really stomach achy feel. And I don't know what it's from, but we'll see if I even make it out to my child. But I have some work I need to do that I've been procrastinating all week. So I really might have to get that done. So yeah. So I am about to do my makeup. And because I want to listen to my music, we are going to jam out together. Right now, I'm just kind of prepping my face. I did some off-screen things, and I have my little Velcro rollers on. I checked two of them to make sure they were curled good, and they were. So I want to get better at prepping my face before I do my makeup. And um, I want to buy a hyaluronic acid serum so I can, you know, just add some more moisture back to my face. But um wash my face in the shower and then i use this this is the milk um 
intensive hydrating treatment. So I just put a little bit of this on my face, add some moisture, and then I go in with the lay cream. This is from Embroilies, Embroilies, I can't pronounce it right. It's a French brand, but I got this off of Amazon. A lot of makeup artists use this, so it's like a cream hydration moisturizer or whatever. So yeah, that's that. Skin looking good, and I'm about to prep my brows. Prep the brows, baby. I cleaned out my makeup bag the other day because I have all my makeup in a bag because I don't want it out in the sink. So I cleaned it out, Clorox wiped everything down, went through all of like my makeup to make sure like, you know, if anything's old, stuff I need to replenish, so on and so forth. So I'm about to just kinda get my eyebrows together. I can't wait to go back to Atlanta this week so I can get my brows done. Um, I wanna get a wax while I'm in Atlanta, but I think my period's about to come, y'all. I've been having the craziest stomach pains, which started yesterday, and I thought it was because I ate something, and then I took some Rolaids, that didn't work, that took some ibuprofen, I, th I guess that worked, and I had like a heating pad on, and I ended up just going to sleep early, and then I fell asleep on the couch, but I just need to listen to my body because I know what my menstrual, like, the indicators that is coming. I always get really sharp pains, like on my lower right hip. I get very, very sleepy. Like I fell asleep on the couch today, but I'm proud of myself that I woke up and I folded all of my laundry. Hold on, let me get my water. I'm trying to stay more hydrated. <clears throat> but I got up, folded all my laundry, Put all the laundry away so yeah and I just used this all over my body mixed with this because I like my legs to shine in the club this smells so good vanilla vibes is oh uh, look how creamy that is so today I'm definitely gonna be wearing vanilla e scents Mm-hmm. Yeah. That girl, Tabinya. If y'all don't know who Terry Reloaded is on TikTok and Instagram, you are missing out. Okay, so my brows are, you know, this is from NYX. This is the brow glue. If you all recommend another like pigmented brow glue, let me know, but my friend just said that she went to Sephora and Benefit has one that has a wax on there. So I really, really really want to try that one because i love benefit all right so i line my brows at the bottom especially because my brows need to be threaded so we're about to clean these babies up for real and i haven't really done like a full tutorial with you all and i am going to do a sit down makeup tutorial rather a stand up because I stand up and do my makeup. I don't have like a vanity or anything like that. So yeah. Oh yeah, this one came out good. And then that's it. Then sometimes I go in and just kind of do all this little stuff. But yeah, see the difference between this one and this one. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to go and do this one. Just slow, light strokes. This one, I mean, it's too long. All right. So I'm about to go, I'm getting ready because I'm gonna go somewhere tonight with like my friends. We don't really have like definite plans, but more than likely it's this one spot. But um, yeah, 
<sighs> and I need to film a reel that I have prolonged all week, so. Uh -huh. Y'all, my memory card is running out of space, and I honestly do not feel like changing it. So I'm about to just do my makeup, and of course I'm gonna show you all the finished look. One reason why, okay Google, pause. I am definitely going to do this makeup tutorial soon, so, because I feel like whatever, it's like to do a makeup tutorial, you have to have time, you know? Like, I be getting ready to go places, and I feel like because I want to talk, and then I want to do something else with the tutorial, maybe like a, a chit chat, a story time, you know, something like that, I can't really engage how I want to, and because I am kind of pressed for time for what I'm trying to do right now. So with that being said, I am just going to do my makeup, listen to my tunes, and then I will get back with you all when I'm done because this is the last day of this vlog and I am going to pick up the camera when I get to Atlanta because I just need a little mental break from vlogging and just also to kind of just regroup all of that good stuff so I'll check in with y'all when my makeup is done all right just finished this beat my face looks tea okay the face is tea the face is giving my camera looks kind of dirty hold on like how that be happening Whatever. Y'all get the picture. I'm gonna take my rollers out. I think I have to like open this somehow. Sure. What the fuck? That was the thing from the oil. That was crazy. It landed on my lip. It landed on my lip, y'all. Oh my God. I think it got on my makeup right here. You see that? Oh my God. Oh. Normally when that happens, like, it will leave a little mark. Thank God it's not that bad. It's not that bad. So these Velcro rollers are pretty cool, but the thing is I'm not leaving my hair down, so I don't even know why I'm capping, acting like I am. But look at the body that this is giving. This is nice. Okay. All right, let's get a little bit of oil. I like how it really limits how much comes out. Only thing is that like, even if I was to wear my hair like this, it's not gonna fucking stay. It looks so good. Like. Natural growth. Natural queen, we see you, baby. I want one of those deep side parts, you know? Like one of those ones that curve like a C. Like it'll start here. Is that how they go? I just don't want my hair to look. And also too, when I be having my hair on my face, child, forget about it. But okay. Um,
I really don't know how I'm gonna style my hair tonight, but it's just knowing me, y'all, I be wanting to do one of these. Quick little, you know, this is my favorite go-to. Off my face, up, But we're going to just kind of, you know, freestyle it. Let it do its thing for now. Because I need to go film something. So I don't care if it's not, if it's like, that it's not perfect. But I do need some type of part just so you can know I have a part in my hair. But yeah, I got my hair trimmed today. And this is the back. I want to cut it shorter, but apparently that's not what I guess needs to happen. I want this to just kind of like fall, you know, but I don't want it to look too matronly. I look like my mother, my mother. I look like my mother. It's just so I can make this video, you know? I just want my hair to look good. And then also too, I have crazy ass flyaways because my hair broke off. So I gotta tame this shit. Tame my hair. I just don't understand why this hair just don't wanna, cause I don't wanna put no more heat on my hair, so. All right, about to figure out what I'm about to wear to film this reel, and then we are going to go from there, darling. Yeah, baby. About to film this reel, which you all will see by the time this vlog comes out. But I got these really cute Ed Hardy dresses from Fashion Nova. I got a pink one and a white one. I was thinking maybe I would wear one to the Burner Boy concert if I went. Like this is cute, but I don't know. Very cute. Um, I don't like this hump that's up here in my head. I don't know how I did that, honestly but i gotta fix it because it's making my hair it's not laying right so i gotta yeah it a little okay. it's just this area I don't know what to do I look emo and I don't want that look that's what I'm going for something more like that all right let's go ahead and go film and find a cool place in my building to get it done so yeah uh, natural hair is such a task like I got so hot I feel like I'm, I started to sweat so I just I'm about to put this little headband on and this is the second outfit just really cute and chill <sighs> somebody was throwing a party in like the clubhouse lounge area and then the little neighborhood police were trying to shut that bitch down and then he heard me on the stairwell came and peeked his little head out i'm like baby i ain't bothering nobody so i live here i pay all this money and rent to use all these cute little photo op areas y'all ain't gonna bother me period 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 all right let me go do this so i can be done
I am so freaking hot. Like my body temperature is hot. <coughs> I am about to put my hair in like a um in a I'm about to part my hair down the middle and we're about to put her in a ponytail because this is too much. Well, boss babes, this is going to conclude this week's vlog. I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed it. And if you're new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe, okay? Subscribe. I would love for you all to officially join my family, become a boss babe, and for all my returning boss babes, I love you all and thank you so much for the support throughout the years, watching my videos, commenting, encouraging me, all of that good stuff. Um, my last video I just wanted to have like this disclaimer I had the um the comment somehow turned off so if any of you all were trying to leave a comment you weren't able to please go back and leave a comment on my last vlog I would greatly greatly appreciate that um and don't forget if you are and I'll see you all in the next vlog and I just remembered um I never even introduced this vlog so my bad for that y'all that just kind of shows how wonky I, my week was going okay but i love my boss babe so much thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next vlog when your girl is going today bye